on an occasion, he had an individual take a book, and it was one of the books of Al Imam Ibn Abi Dunya, the book that was known as, or is, was uh, entitled Them and Malahi, that he placed upon this individual writing out the book of Ibn Abi Dunya by hand, Them and Malahi, from the manuscript form that it was in at that time in Al Maktab al Zahiriya. And so this individual, he, he took on the basis of the request of Sheikh Al Albani, he took the book and he wrote it out. It wasn't an extremely large book. He took it and he wrote it out by hand. And so he copied the whole book other than one page of the book that was missing and was clearly present in al maktab al-Zahiriya. Whatever it was that caused him to realize that it was still in the maktaba, whether it was that there were pieces of paper that indicated that it had been removed or that it was ripped out or displaced. It was clear though that a page was, was ripped out, had been ripped out and was not present within that manuscript. And so Sheikh Al-Albani, after that individual had written the book out, the Sheikh decided that he was going to find the missing page. Now that missing page, anyone who knows uh, the many in Islamic library anyway, it could be in the middle of any book, which occurs. And somebody finds a page, he opens a book, just puts it in the middle, closes it, put it back. And so Sheikh Nasir, being acquainted with the library, and being acquainted with the fact that this was what people did, he decided that he was going to go through every book in Al-Maktab al-Zahiriya. And so he went and began with the first book in Maktab al-Zahiriya and sifted through every single book within the Maktab. And still didn't find a page. <laughs> and so he decided, Ikhwan, that he was going to do it again. And so he sifted through every book in Maktab al-Zahiriya a second time and still didn't find a page. And so he decided he was going to do it for a third time. And he sifted through every single book in Al-Maktab al-Zahiriya a third time. During that search, the sheikh came across much benefit. Naturally, he didn't sit and read every book. But he came across many benefits. And so he began to author a book of notes from him searching for that one page in Al-Maktab al-Zahiriya, a book of notes of benefits that he came across while he was searching. And so Sheikh Nasir, he mentions about himself that I ended up with 40 volumes of benefits, notes, hadith here, a benefit there, an issue here, a benefit there, he ended up with 40 volumes. Each volume he mentioning having 400 pages. 40 volumes. All of them just notes that he had uh, going through Al-Maktab al-Zahiriya. So it may be, Ikhwan, that something may occur. And that one thing, though it may be, or he considered a calamity at that time, it causes, or off the back of it, there is much khair that is attained and achieved by way of it. From that, the, that writing, and from those notes, we now have a book that has been authored, Ikhwan, and for any of the brothers who are going to book by, uh, we have here the Fahras uh, of the Makhtutat, of the Kutub al-Zahiriya, of Sheikh Nasir al-Din al-Albani. That was, and this is the summary of that which was present within the search or within those 40 volumes of Sheikh Nasir al-Din al-Albani. But he mentions in this the makhtutat or in it the uh, written manuscripts, the handwritten manuscripts that had not gone into print that were present in Al-Maktab al-Zahiriya. So this is a fahras or an index of the makhtutat of the handwritten manuscripts that had not gone into print that are present within Al-Maktab al-Zahiriya. And that, no doubt, is one an extremely important book. 
something that wasn't done even by the librarians, something that was, wasn't done until Sheikh Nasir al-Din al-Albani had carried out that which he carried out uh, on that occasion.